Research is just such an important thing for everyone to be involved in. Essentially, without research, we wouldn't have new treatments. Research is imperative, or we can't move forward. If we didn't have research, we wouldn't have the knowledge that we have for complex diseases. We wouldn't be able to move on, we wouldn't improve patient care. It saves the hospital money because we find better ways of doing things. Service change, service improvement, it's about driving up standards. Literally every single treatment, every single drug, every single intervention that we deliver is research based. The National Institute for Health Research is an incredibly supportive mechanism for research careers. It offers online education, online training, it opens the doors for academic learning and professional career development. The Clinical Research Network is part of 15 networks across the UK and we support and facilitate research in healthcare organisations across primary care, acute care, community settings and mental health. We've got varying roles in research which can be really adaptable with any qualification that you have. It's not just for doctors, it's not just for nurses, it's about everyone involved in healthcare. We've got research practitioners, we've got research nurses, people to help with databases, people to help with sending out newsletters and developing websites. We've got OTs and physios, dieticians who are involved in research. And we've also got technicians that run our samples and help run audits on freezers and processing. So literally anybody can get involved in research. <laughs> This is a really exciting time to consider a career in research. The National Institute for Health Research now has a national incentive to take our research skills into new settings outside of hospitals. I'm the lead research nurse here at the Rain Group Practice. I am a GP across in Tor Point and I'm a GP researcher as well. So I'm a research midwife. I am a finance administrator for the research and development department. When you say you work in a GP practice and they say they do research in GP practices, what research do you do? For us, it fits in really well. I've been here as a GP for 20 years. I know lots of our patients who have been here their whole lives. Actually, in terms of having an in-depth knowledge of what patients might be suitable for which studies, we're really well placed for it. As midwives, we're expected to read journal articles and understand it. But actually being on the other side and being involved in the research and doing the research helps it make sense. So it kind of gives you extra knowledge for your continued professional development. I'm not a clinician at all and I feel a big part of the research just from that little bit I do with the finance side of things. So you can definitely be a part of research without being a clinician. And there are so many skills that you learn in research. You learn how to project manage, how to talk to clinical teams, to negotiate, to be innovative. Those sorts of skills are so transferable. The pandemic has really shone a light on research. It's absolutely propelled research into the spotlight. The studies we're doing, we're seeing the results of them almost immediately and a really good example of that is the vaccine studies. So we went from testing these vaccines to actually delivering them in, in healthcare and then seeing the results for the wider population within 12 months, which is phenomenal and fantastic to be part of. People are starting to think about actually where do we get the answers from and the answers come from research. Southwest is a lovely place to live. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously uh, close to the seaside. At the weekend I can basically be found by the coast. Surfing, I'll be walking the coast, doing photography, swimming, snorkelling, anything involving water is basically my first love really. I came down here 17 years ago and I've never looked back. We also have a demographic that maybe is slightly different to the rest of the country so we would have a lot of studies looking at older population and seeing what we can do to improve their health outcomes. Another thing for me personally, I feel, is that you're involved in something that's so big that maybe it's generally associated with the bigger cities, with London and so on, whereas we are working with all the big academics all around the country. So although we're based in the southwest, we're actually part of something really big, so you can have the best of both worlds. Come and work in the southwest, there's so many fantastic opportunities. You're helping patients in a really different way. In new areas, undertaking groundbreaking research and supporting the patients that we needed to serve. The more people we have on the front line doing research, the more opportunities our patients get. It's a privilege in a way for people to give you consent to do some work with them at probably one of the most vulnerable times in their life. We follow people up for a few years, so you get to spend quite meaningful time with patients. It's very rewarding, very rewarding. 
take the leap and just see where it takes you. Come and join our growing team. Being able to look at data and see that a drug is working and it's massively decreasing the size of a patient's tumour, I think that's amazing. Being aware of research and being able to do that to people is something magical. Thank <laughs> you.